Let's go. Let us start. So, this is very easy. You have seen just now. Rollers are related details. Okay. Chandra Gupta 2 is, uh, Chandra Gupta 2 is uh, also called as Vikramaditya. But here, issued coins with images of Lord Kartikeya. This is Kumar Gupta. We have seen. Kartikeya is also called as Kumar Swami. So, Kumar Gupta is Kartikeya. This is fine. Tata Fahin visited during Chandra Gupta 2. We have seen that. So, B4. Okay. B4. And D3, okay, D3, fine. And uh, what else? Chandra Gupta one is related to Kumar Devi. Chandra Gupta's wife is Kumar Devi. They issued the Gupta Kumar Devi type of gold coins. And what is left? Samudra Gupta. Uh, Samudra Gupta and C1. So Samudra Gupta, that Harishena is the court poet of Samudra Gupta. He gave the Mehroli, uh, uh, what is that? Sheshastri, something, pillar inscription. Uh, Shashasti something. Inscription basically uh sasanam type. In a way. So Fahin visited during uh period of Chandra Gupta 2. And he wrote the book Fokoko. Okay. The uh, spelling might vary, but basically Fokoko. So the Gupta period is considered as golden age of India or the classical age or the age of efflorescence. Because it was progressive in foreign trade, yes, there was peace and proper prosperity, definitely. There was tremendous development in the field of science also. We have seen Navaratnas, uh, Shangbu geography, uh, Danvantri medicine, and we have seen Varaha Mihira, astrology, all those things. The Navaratnas also very important. So, which of the following are true about Samudra Gupta? He is also known as Kaviraja. So, Samudra Gupta, that means the uh, last before Kumar Gupta, Samudra Gupta, he is known as Kaviraja. He built the most expensive empire after, after the Mauryan Empire. Okay. He is also known as Indian Napoleon. So, A and C outright we have seen just now. B also you have to remember. Okay. After Ashoka, he built the most expensive. And the invasions of Poons uh, from Central Asia started during Samudra Gupta. So, we have seen Sri Gupta is the uh, first founder of Gupta dynasty, but majorly it has started from Chandra Gupta 1 from 320, 319 to 320 around that period. Uh, Sri Gupta took the title of uh, Maharaja, Chandra Gupta took the title of Maharaja Diraja. And uh, Samudra Gupta, we have seen something, Kaviraja something, okay. Chandra Gupta 2 took the title of Vikramaditya. So, an inscription by which of the following is found on the pillar containing prayer preciously of Samudra Gupta. So basically, Samudra Gupta gave this uh, prayer prashasti, and prayer prashasti means that uh, uh, prayer means uh, Allahabad region. In that region, we see that big pillar, that inscription, and also uh, Jahangir, which is later on. Uh, Jahangir means long after in the what is a Mughal period. So Jahangir is also related to the prayer prashasti. Okay, uh, already on the existing pillar, Jahangir also had given an inscription. So remember that both are from very different time. Bahadur Shah is the last Mughal. Uh, what do you say among the Mughals is the last Bahadur Shah two, I think not one. And Akbar, everyone knows Akbar the Great. All that we'll look into when we come to the Mughals. So during the reign of Kumar Gupta, the Huns made their first attack. Okay, we have seen already Kumar Gupta. They made the first attack, and during Skanda Gupta, they made frequent attacks. Kumar Gupta was the last ruler of Gupta dynasty, uh, which is wrong. The last ruler is Visva Vishnu Gupta, or even uh, if you say last great ruler is Skanda Gupta. So, definitely not Kumar Gupta. And Kumar Gupta means immediately you have to remember Nalanda University. He was the founder of Nalanda University. Kingship was hereditary in Gupta kingdom, which is obviously true. At that time, kingship was hereditary for everyone. So, which of the following was the kinsmen of Murundas? Who ruled over Central India before Gupta? So we have seen pre-Gupta or post-Mauryan or Kushans and uh, we have seen Satavahanas, Kushans and Murundas. So Satavahanas were in the south and Kushans were in the north, and they were kinsmen of the Murundas. So read the following. Gupta emperors claimed divine rights for the divine rights for themselves. 
okay they extended the tradition of land grants we have seen that is one of the reason for the decline also because uh, they have given lot of land grants nothing uh, much was left for the king so their um, administration was highly centralized so we have seen that uh, in the uh, ashokan period and etc uh, slowly it was getting centralized but in the gupta period we have seen there are many provinces okay so it wasn't that centralized administration was not very highly centralized even though the king was the center of the power we have seen that there are uh, what is a vishayas okay and uh, buktis etc the provinces are called buktis and the sub uh, subdivision of that is vishayas etc et so there are multiple layers of administration so the gupta king who made ujjain in malwa is the second capital is chandragupta 2 also called as vikramaditya we have seen that already so during the gupta period it belonged to the dandra style so dandra is basically mix of greek and indo okay because we have already had alexander's invasion and everything there was lot of influence from the greek also called as the hellenistic style also called as indo indo greek or dandra style so nagara is exclusively in north india you can see in that uh, what is a uh, in the north indian temples kandariya mahadeva temple we have seen dravida is exclusively south indian style uh, meenakshi amma temple etc all the some most of the south indian style uh, are dravida style vesaray is a little bit mix of nagara and dravida in mostly central india orissa etc those are all vesara style little mix of dravida and nagara so the gupta ruler who repaired sudarshan lake okay for the second time so sudarshan lake skandagupta last great gupta ruler as as you can remember like that skandagupta the last one repaired the sudarshan lake so how many students were studying in the nalanda university shuen sang men uh, came to the nalanda university he mentioned about 8500 students so uh, it was a very prominent university at that time so silver coins were called as rupakas which is you have to remember also in general nishka we have seen somewhere nishka also means coins uh, silver coins were called as rupaka and chandragupta one issue kumar uh, what is it kumar devi gupta type of coins so which ruling dynasty donated maximum villages to the temples and brahmins so if we already finish ap history then you will know it better so satwanas uh, means founded by shimuka they are all uh, like brahmins and uh, you have um, the famous satwahana 23rd uh, what you say uh, what is that movie name also recently there, uh, there was a movie right gautami putra satkarni so gautami putra satkarni was a, one of the prominent the most great king of satwanas and he considers himself as a kshatriya darpa madana martana means the one who has uh, what is a reduced the pride of kshatriya so basically they were all brahmins and uh, they were proud of that so satavahanas is the ruling dynasty which donated maximum villages to uh, brahmins so mauryan dynasty we have seen is mostly buddhist shishunaga is also brahmin shishunaga uh, no shishunaga or pushimitra shunga pushimitra shunga okay was the one who filled the last mauryan empire uh, emperor brihadratha shishunaga was uh, we have seen uh, in magadha empire right first one is haryanaka dynasty followed by shishunaga dynasty followed by nanda dynasty so at that time uh, religion was not i mean brahmin brahmanism buddhism etc was not very uh, prominent they were more focused on uh, wars and ambitious rulers etc even society was little bit unorthodox in nature it was not that shit. so officers we have seen patwals and all you will find in pallavas okay in tamil uh, in cholas pallavas so that is basically south indian uh, term uparikas also we have seen uh, somewhere else anyway vishaya vishayapati we will see in uh, uh, rashtrakutas we will see in guptas etc everything but majorly bojakas and gramikas the officers of the village okay and uh, vishayapati means around district level we have seen buktis are provinces so like more like states vishayas are like districts so village level you have gramikas and bojakas at village level the nomination of ramagupta as the successor of samudragupta is said to have been forced by sabha 
so what happened is see before samudra gupta we have a uh, uh, chandra gupta samudra gupta and so in between uh, there is this person ram gupta who is not a very uh, powerful ruler and uh, actually someone abducted his wife also and he could not do anything then chandra gupta to i mean obviously people will realize that he is a very weak ruler so chandra gupta to even though he is not the eldest son he goes to war he fights everyone kills and brings his wife back and also kills this guy also because he is a what is a weak ruler so people have rejected him and he kills he kills ram gupta also and marries his wife also all those things that is the story you can read in rs sharma so anyway so ram gupta is not a very prominent ruler he is a very weak ruler in the gupta period the issue of succession to the throne was unilaterally decided by the sabha okay remember that so gupta period the sabha decided unilaterally decided the succession of the throne usually it was the eldest son so ram gupta became the king for some time but because of his weak ruling he was immediately killed by samudra gupta or chandra gupta too i think not uh, samudra gupta anyway so consider the following statements regarding guptas okay chandra gupta 2 was the first gupta coin to issue silver coins we have already seen this chandra gupta 2 also known as uh is that vikramaditya vikramaditya navaratras etc etc so he is the one who issued silver coins which are called rupakas so pangin was the first chinese pilgrim who came to india during the reign of chandra gupta 2 that is also correct before that we have seen during mauryas uh, megasthenes okay indika by megasthenes indika is the name of the book and uh, fahin name of the book is kokoko so uh, samudra gupta was known as napoleon of india which we have saw <coughs> and he called himself representative of lord vishnu and we have seen that he is a uh, staunch vaishnavite so remember all those things the gupta king who destroyed sakas is chandra gupta too that's why he also took a title called sakari and that was mentioned by pahin remember all those things consider the following historical places ajanta caves sanchi caves lapakshi so which of the following are known as uh, i mean uh, famous for mural paintings so lapakshi you seen already lapakshi paintings which are very famous and ajanta okay ajanta is in maharashtra right ajanta in ora lapakshi is in karnataka right if i'm not wrong lapakshi lapakshi temple lapakshi paintings this big uh, nandi made from a uh, very famous lapakshi and the andhra pradesh government etc etc um, okay lapakshi is a village in sri satyasai district of andhra pradesh so it is more important for us okay it is in andhra only kadri etc basically near to karnataka hindupur is the extreme end of uh, what is it? it's in uh, anandigiri like that is the one of the extreme of andhra pradesh i mean near the border and the veerabhadra temple is also located in the village all these things try to remember lapakshi paintings are also famous lapakshi nandi this big uh, huge uh, what do you say uh, all these things are very famous nada so the lapakshi temple also known as veerabhadra temple is in anandpur district of andhra pradesh very very important for us remember all these things so lapakshi temple is in Anantapur district, uh, Andhra Pradesh. Sanchi, Sanchi is too far away, right? So Sanchi is in uh, Madhya Pradesh. Ajanta is in Maharashtra. Sanchi, Sanchi cave. Sanchi is famous for this too far. It is in Madhya Pradesh. Okay, and also there is a cave which is famous. next so which of the following inscription belongs to skandagupta so all the above belong to skandagupta okay junagadh rock inscription let us come from junagadh rock inscription okay junagadh rock inscription of rudradaman also known as ginnar inscription of rudradaman but i think it is also associated with skandagupta which gupta is known 
So the Junagadh Raghu is one against earlier about Ashoka and Rudraman. Okay, so basically that's why I got the doubt. Rudra uh, Junagadh Raghu Raghu inscription is uh, first thing you have to remember Rudraman. Okay, but later Skanda Gupta also gave a I mean inscription. He got it engraved on it. Okay, try to remember that. So both Skanda Gupta and Rudraman both are related to the Junagadh Raghu inscription. This is that. So, Vitari pillar, indoor stone pillar, all these are Skandagupta. So, Skandagupta gave many inscriptions. Try to remember that. Next, consider the following statements regarding Gupta Empire. Okay, they were of Vaishya origin. So, even today you can see Gupta, uh, Gupta's means mostly Vaishyas. So, Gupta Empire established on the ruins of Satavanas and Kushans. So, after Mauryas, we had the Satavanas and Kushans, and it is followed by the Gupta Empire. So, this is also correct. So, Allahabad pillar inscription gives a detailed account of reign of which king? Samudra Gupta. Okay, Allahabad pillar inscription gives a detailed uh, account of Samudra Gupta. Try to remember that. And also, we have seen who gave that, who is, I mean, gave the content, Harishena, who is the poet, uh, poet of Samudra Gupta only. Harishena. Harishena. Okay. So, Arishana was the fourth poet of Samudra Gupta and he composed a prashasti in praise of Samudra Gupta. This is the famous Allahabad prashasti which describes Samudra Gupta as a great warrior. Prashasti. Prashasti is a Sanskrit word which means in praise of. Okay. Basically, a small poem kind of thing, small thing which praises. So, which of the following was the inscription of Gupta about Sati? Okay, about Sati, they have spoken in the Iran inscription. So, Bitari, Allahabad, all these things we have seen uh, Samudra Gupta, right? Bitari, indoor stone, etc., etc. Junagadh by Samudra Gupta and, and Skanda Gupta. Okay, Skanda Gupta. Junagadh, Indor, and Bitari, all those three are Skanda Gupta. That means at the ending. And this was Sati. Sati about, I mean, details about Sati were given in Iran inscription. Try to remember that. And Bitari, uh, Junagadh, Indor, all those belong to Skanda Gupta. And Allahabad inscription is Samudra Gupta, right? Samudra Gupta. So try to remember that. Samudra Gupta, Allahabad inscription, all the other inscriptions mostly uh, belong to the Skanda Gupta. So don't get confused. Samudra Gupta comes in the beginning. Skanda Gupta is one of the later part, is the last. So again, I said Kumar Gupta, first and foremost in Nalanda University. You have to. Kumar Gupta means Nalanda University. And the Gupta who became follower of Buddhism, okay, we have seen that Guptas are mostly Vaishnavites and all, uh, we have seen Hindu religion. But at the end, Kumara Gupta followed Buddhism. So, Nalanda University is a prominently Buddhist university, okay, because uh, most of these Buddhist monks, are, they also uh, visited the Nalanda University. So, uh, Kumara Gupta at the end took up Buddhism and is also famous for the Nalanda University. So, Gupta Empire came to an end because of, there are many uh, reasons. One of the reasons is Huna invasions. The Huns from the Hunas from the Central Asia. Okay. So, we have seen Pahi invested during the Chandra Gupta II and the book he has written is Fokoko. And Huyen Sang is during the period of Harshavadana and the book he has written is CUT. Alberuni is also very important. Uh, he came, uh, I mean, Alberuni is during the, what do you say, uh, I think uh, Mohammed Gajini. He came with that uh, Gajini or Alberuni. Okay, came along with Mahmud of Gajini. So later on. So when Gajini was uh, invading India frequently, Alberuni was the 
what is he is writer uh, philosopher etc so he came along with uh, uh, what is he mohammad afghani and uh, his observations are also very important the observations of al biruni also give us a lot of information about the uh, society etc at that point of time so he talks about how uh, brahmins have become uh, very haughty because of the i mean uh, because of their knowledge they were not willing to share knowledge they were uh, i mean uh, and there is not much progress so even though it was a very highly uh, i mean they had lot of knowledge there is some kind of stagnation etc and uh, how they used to consult the women uh, to take decisions all those things were mentioned by alberuni so alberuni's uh, observations are also very important the first gupta roller to assume the title of parama bhagavata so we have seen sri gupta maharaja chandra gupta one maharaja raja and um, samudra gupta uh, we have seen uh, satari etc etc so chandra gupta two took the titles of vikramaditya and also parama bhagavata try to remember that so navaratras we have seen many times chandra gupta two okay chandra gupta two had navaratnas so this is also very important 16th share 16th share is the tax that is baga okay also we have seen somewhere bali is the voluntary tax and initially in the early period baga was called the spoils of war and that was one of the earliest tax uh, noted uh, i mean historically recorded was baga later on later on it became a standard tax uh, share of 16th so 16th out of uh, 10 bags six bags will go to the king That's what it means, right? One sixth. That's what, no? One sixth means uh, suppose if there are hundred bags, how much will go? If there are ten bags, something like that, right? One tenth means one bag will go, right? So one sixth means more than one bag, something like that. That is the share of the king. That is the tax, which is called baga. So, <coughs> which means bonded labor without any payment. Vishti. So we have already seen that multiple times. Waste land converted to cultivated land. Uh, all these will come in that Banjar, Banjar Bumi, Pollaj. Uh, that will come during the Mughal period mostly. Otherwise, land grants to the temples are called uh, Deva Meya. Deva Meya. Deva. Deva Meya. Okay. Wait, let us see. Lands given to one thing is inam lands. That's uh, inam lands also give lands given to temples. Uh, they are called inam lands. They have a dana. Okay. So different places, different names will be there. They have maya, they have maya, something like that. I remember they have a dana. Uh, inam lands are also called as okay. If it is Muslim uh, community, then it is called waqf board. Okay, waqf board means all the lands belonging to the Muslim. Uh, what do you say that uh, uh, masjid, etc. Basically, religious institutions. Brahma deya. If it is given to Brahmins, it is Brahma deya. If it is given to temple, it is Deva dana or Deva meya, etc. So all these things you have to remember. Deva dana. Deva dana. Brahma deya means given to Brahmins. Deva means directly given to God. Okay, etc. etc. Land grants made to military officers. This is also important. So these are called, um, especially in later period, it is called uh, what is this? Um, there is a specific term. We will come to that later. No, not Nayatas. Something else. We will see. No problem. So Indian Napoleon is Samudra Gupta. We have seen multiple times. Okay, Samudra Indian Napoleon. You can remember like that also. Napoleon means he is used to travel in the sea, right? So Samudra is ocean. So you can remember like that. Then another last another empire, Kumar Gupta, Nalanda University. Harshvardhan was the last great empire, Hindu empire, seventh century. So Dhanvantri and Kalidasa, etc. Dhanvantri is the medicine god. Uh, I mean god of god, uh, uh, doctor of gods. Okay, god of medicine, all those things. And Kalidasa was the famous famous poet. He wrote Abhijyan Sakuntram, Kumar Shambhavam, Mahavamsha, and one more thing is there. There is something we we'll see. Okay, and uh, Kumar Gupta, Samudra Gupta, all these things. Basically, Chandra Gupta two 
or Vikramaditya, his court there were Navaratnas. So we was uh, seen multiple times Allahabad pillar inscription related to Samudra Gupta given by Harishena, Junagadh inscription by Rudra Daman, also Skanda Gupta's mark is there. Meharali, all these things belong to uh, Chandra Gupta too. The Ch Chandra Gupta too. Meharali, iron pillar inscription. And all those other, I mean, uh, we have seen, right? Indo stone, etc. And a uh, couple of things which were given by Skanda Gupta also. Beirut means in Lebanon, so it is far away, not here. Balida Baladi Karana. In the Gupta period, what was the correct rank of Baladi Karana? So basically, Balam means the strength. So obviously, military force, you can remember like that. Commander of uh, military forces is called Baladi Karana. Silver coins, Ropaka. We have seen all that. Silver coins means Ropaka. So which of the following statements is not correct with respect to Gupta art and art? So Gupta art and art lecture is a very standard question in the mains. So that you have to look at it later on. But uh, we try to remember all these three. The beautiful statue of standing Buddha at Madura reveals a little Greek style. So we have seen this picture some time back. So Greek style means basically Buddha will have a curling hair. So that is called Indo-Hellenistic. Uh, Hellenistic. Buddha. So you will have this curly hair, etc. etc. Okay, that is the Indo-Greek mix, this curling hair. Otherwise, you won't have that. Uh, there are uh, what you say, Buddha means you have Amaravati style, okay, which is uh, in Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh, etc. There are several styles. So when you say Greek style, uh, you have that particular one. The Buddha statue honored at Sarnath was unique piece of Gupta art. So it is fine. This is the correct statement. We have already seen that Buddha statue. The gigantic, uh, gigantic copper statue of Buddha originally found at Sultan Ganj, now kept at Birmingham. Basically, it's uh, in UK, London. Okay, Birmingham Museum is very famous. Uh, and they contain artifacts from all over the world. Because at that time, British conquered almost all of the world. right? So they took away all the important pieces and displayed at Birmingham Museum. Okay, so the Bitari pillar is from not from Kumar Gupta, we have seen uh, Skanda Gupta. Okay, Bitari and uh, indoor stone pillar and something else also we have seen, right? Any idea? Junagar. Junagar, okay. Fine. Okay, so. <laughs> So, which Gupta uh, ruler repaired the Sudarshana Lake? So, we remember, right? We remember the S and S. Basically, the last one, last S, not the before one, not Samudra Gupta. So, Skanda Gupta. And it is during the period of Skanda Gupta, the invasion of Kuns had taken place. Sri Gupta found that 240. Chandra Gupta 2 is also known as Vikramaditya, Navaratna, etc. Samudra Gupta also, we have seen so many things. Allahabad pillar inscription, etc., etc. The expansion of agriculture land took place on the largest scale during the Gupta age. So that is also the reason it is called classical age. Agriculture, medicine, language, art and architecture, everything flourished during the Gupta period. <laughs> so the Gupta age was progressive in foreign trade. There was peace and prosperity and etc. field of science. Because of that, it is called as the golden age of India. Okay. There are only two known examples of cave paintings of Gupta. One of these paintings is Ajanta and the other is Bagh Caves. Try to remember that. Okay, Lamas Rishi, we have seen during the period of Mauryas. Nashik Caves in Maharashtra, Ellora, Ajanta in Maharashtra. Bagh Caves are also frequently asked. I think, uh, let us see where they are. Bagh Caves are also in Madhya Pradesh. Okay, there are Buddhist Caves. Here you can see there are Buddhist Caves in Madhya Pradesh. Ajanta and Ellora are in uh, Maharashtra. Ajanta and Ellora. By which plane has to Okay. So mostly Satwana has built it. Uh, it is a combination over a period of time. So in that area, whenever a new direction comes, they used to build that even uh, what is a uh, Rashtrakuta has built something. Uh, so it's a 
combination of so many dynasties over a period of time. It's not single cave, there are multiple caves or spread over a large area. So Ajanta majorly in the early period, Satvahana dynasty, uh, they built many caves. Which dynasty built Ajanta caves? Satvahana dynasty. Who made Ajanta in Lora caves? Rashtraputta dynasty also, especially the famous Kailasha temple was by Krishna III of the Rashtraputta dynasty. Was a lot of caves. Kutta, initially built by Rashtraputta, etc. Et Everyone has uh, some of the other, uh, what you say, okay, Satvahana dynasty. Okay, which caves are Satvahana? 9, 10, 12, 13, 15. Years. Okay. So, uh, in Ajanta Ellora, you have a particular painting called the Black Princess. Okay, that is related to Satvahanas. Try to remember all those things. So, Bhak Caves are in Madhya Pradesh. So, which dynasty was distracted the most by the Hunas Gupta dynasty? We have seen, especially during Skanda Gupta. Later, Kuma, last person is Kumar Gupta, right? So, uh, last person is Skanda Gupta. Yes, last person is Kumar. So, during the Kumar Gupta, the invasions have started and Skanda Gupta. Uh, uh, I mean, they have uh, intensified, and it is one of the reasons for the decline. So, Skanda Gupta is the last. <laughs> so, which of the following tells about the succession of Skanda Gupta one to the throne? Kaumudi Mahotsava. Okay, Mitsha Katika, Devi Chandra Gupta, they are all important. Just Kumar Chetra, who wrote those things. But Kaumudi Mahotsava tells about the succession of Skanda Gupta one to the Remember that. So, first person is Sri Gupta followed by Dathotaja followed by Chandra Gupta 1, 320 BC. Which one of the following posts was in use for North India during the Gupta period? So, all these are brooches in uh, Gujarat, Cambage in Gujarat, Tamralipti is also uh, in North India. So, Tamralipti was one of the uh, prominent port during the Gupta period. Try to remember that. Tamralipti. Tamaralipti port is in Bay of Bengal. Okay. It was a port city and capital of Shuma Kingdom, ancient India, present today, Medinipur, West Bengal. Okay. West Bengal. So remember that. This brooch, Cambay, uh, etc., are in the western part of uh, Gujarat, and Tamaralipti is in West Bengal. And it was prominently used by the Guptas. So, the Ceylon king is Sri Lanka, uh, Megavarma, we have already seen, okay, Megavarma sent an embassy to, embassy to Samudra Gupta to build a temple at Bodhgaya, Buddhist temple at Bodhgaya. Last Saka ruler, Rudra Simha was killed by Chandra Gupta too, okay, we have seen uh, already, Rudra Simha was the last Saka ruler killed by Chandra Gupta too. The Sakas, Parthians, Kushans, etc. are pre-Gupta, post-Maurya. Poor Amanda Pali was expert musician. Samdra Gupta, we saw he was very good in Veena. Okay, and also Aurangzeb was a very good Veena player. Samdra Gupta is a very good Veena player. Gupta King was maximum number of inscriptions. Kumar Gupta. Okay, he gave the maximum number of inscriptions. And we have seen Skanda Gupta inscriptions, a uh, few of those, right? Indoor, Vitari, etc. etc. So Kumar Gupta is also famous for Nalada University. And he gave the maximum number of inscriptions. Try to remember that. Samdra Gupta is uh, Allahabad, right? Allahabad inscription, Harishena, all that belongs to Samdra Gupta. So during Samdra period, Kanchi means South India, Vishnu Gopa was the ruler. Okay, try to remember that. So which of the following was the strong center of Pashupatas during the time of Chandra Gupta to Madura, strong center of the Pashupatas during the time of Chandra Gupta. So they are probably a sub dynasty. Madura, Madura means UP region. Try to remember during Chandra Gupta to Pashupatas were a strong center and they were at Madura. Try to remember that. Who among the following issued the largest number of gold coins? So Guptas. Purest gold coins, Kushans. Okay, these two things try to remember. Purest gold coin means Kushans, largest gold coin means Guptas. Very standard, you have to remember. 
and the system of governing villages through autonomous elected panchayats was evolved through the mauryas so mauryan administration is one of the beginning we have seen is the first first uh, empire to settle down after the magadha's expansion and everything so they started the governing villages and we have seen uh, villages gramikas etc and in uh, guptas we have seen buktis provinces uh, vishyas okay all those things try to remember everything which aspect of municipal administration of today is continuing since the period of maurya okay registration of birth and death so during the reign of chandragupta maurya pataliputra was administered by a board consisting of 30 members try to remember that not very important but approximately maurya dynasty fine so how many are the but okay let us try try to finish these also quickly one liners okay uh which of the following gupta emperors is present on coins playing the veena we have seen samudra gupta okay samudra gupta music veena etc pick out the first and last gupta first one is vi gupta and last one is vishnu gupta sometimes they say gupta era etc etc prominent gupta etc then chandra gupta one but sri gupta is the founder we have already seen and uh, chandra gupta one 320 bc so sri gupta is 240 bc something last one last major ruler chandra gupta last uh, as such is vishnu gupta who started the gupta era so remember founder of gupta sri gupta but gupta era means chandra gupta one and allahabad pillar inscription of samudra gupta harisena we have seen multiple times who are the following repeat the sudarshana lake samudra gupta so the last person last major s okay he repeat the sudarshana lake uh, who gave the largest number of inscriptions kumar gupta we have seen nalanda university kumar gupta we have seen after the fall of the roman empire who indian peace mainly played with southeast asia indonesia all these things there is the following in chronological order obviously first and foremost will be sri gupta followed by gotau kesha followed by chandra gupta 1 followed by um, samudra gupta followed by chandra gupta 2 then kumar gupta and last skanda gupta who was the first gupta king to take maharaja raja chandra gupta 1 maharaja means sri gupta maharaja raja means chandra gupta others have also many titles uh, issued kumar devi type of coins chandra gupta 1 okay his wife is kumar devi gupta king who called himself as lichavi dauhitra samudra gupta whatever try to remember and parakramana samudra gupta sakari is also samudra gupta right lot of uh, titles he has so again samudra gupta has exterminated republican states in punjab so he is a uh, famous warrior also samudra gupta <laughs> who finally defeated shakas of ujjain chandra gupta one try to remember that he was establishing the gupta era so he defeated the shakas and we also seen last shaka ruler uh, rudradaman or something right we have seen who was the one who now started posing a threat yeah, who i mean they started kumar gupta by the time of skanda gupta there was full fledged invasion the vagada ruler who allied with chandra gupta to was rudrasena okay we saw his daughter he has given his daughter rudrasena so which of the following are wrong about chandra gupta to he is uh, napoleon of india is samudra gupta okay so all others pahin visited us and uh, vikramaditya yes and he had navaratras he married a naga princess kubar naga and gave his daughter to vakataka king rudrasena just here we have seen okay vakataka rudrasena married chandragupta to his daughter prabhavati gupta and he himself married a naga princess of kubar naga etc etc so napoleon of india is samudra gupta vishti is poor labor so gupta period first first administration civil and criminal law so kumar machas means high ranking official direct sons princess etc uparika was in charge of bukti and vishaya was vishyapati drama gramika bukti is the uh, provinces like states expansion of agriculture took, took place on a large scale during gupta period try to remember that administration was bettered by mauryas 
agriculture was extensively carried on by gupta period okay all those things kshetra means cultivated land khila means wasteland okay upper hatha means forest land etc try to remember those things kshetra means cultivated land incorrect statement guptas issued more coins than the kushans actually uh, kushans gave the purest coins but guptas issued more copper coins so this it's not it is wrong ancient india guptas issued the largest number of gold coins so which is, which is to oh he's talking about copper coins sorry okay <laughs> so guptas issued the largest number of gold coins kushans issued the uh, purest gold coins After conquest of uh, Gujarat, Guptas issued a good number of silver coins called Dropakas. Remember that, and uh, we have seen. Uh, I think Samudra Gupta or Saman was the first Samudra Gupta or Chandra Gupta too. I don't remember. They had the largest number of silver coins, and they had good trade contacts with Roman or the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> so Guptas were Vaishyas. And they involved in agriculture, etc. Position of Shudras was not that bad during the Gupta period, yeah. and the supremacy of Brahmanas also continued. Basically, it was they followed. They were Vaishnavites, and they followed uh, Vedic religion. So, what is this Gupta period? We come to know about the emergence of Kayashtas, which has the class, which of the uh, inscription, the Damodarpur copper plate inscription. Fine. We know that there is a class called Kayashtas, mostly in West Bengal. And they were uh, mostly accounts and bookkeeping, etc. Highest class. So first inscriptional evidence of Sati is Iran, or we have already seen uh, spelling Iran, right? So Iran or Iran, E R A N, we have seen that is Iran only. Inscription of Banu Gupta mentions about Sati. Try to remember that. Damodar copper plate inscription mentions about Sati. Try to remember that also. Allahabad pillar inscription, Samudra Gupta, Hari Sena. And Gupta period red ware we've already seen. Maurya's means not black uh, N B P W northern black polished ware. Guptas and Kushans and everyone it is red ware. Black on red, black and red is in the early uh, what do you say before uh, I mean Vedic period. And ochre coloured painted etc. All that is during the uh, Indus Valley civilization uh, later on. Later on we've already seen all that. Which are the image of Vishnu in the form of a great boar is seen at the entrance of Udayagiri in Malwa. Okay, Udayagiri. If you see the picture, you will remember better. Udayagiri, Vishnu as boar. Okay, like this. Vishnu as a boar. Udayagiri caves. They are very important. Gupta art and architecture. Okay, this is remember the picture. You will be able to remember better. <laughs> the earliest reference to Lord Krishna comes from Chandogya Upanishad. Okay, Satapata Brahmana we have seen many things. Aitreya Brahmana mention of Andras and uh, Satapata Brahmana also we have seen something all these things. So yeah, try to revise from that Vedic religion. Which book equates Krishna with Vishnu? Mahabharata. Okay, and Chandogya Upanishad related to Krishna. Alvars means Vaishnavites. Were popular in South India. Nainars means followers of Shiva. Shiva devotees are called as Nainars, and Vishnu devotees are called as Alvars. Try to remember that. And that is in South India, seventh century. <laughs> so Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara, Trinity of Gods became popular during the Gupta period. Uh, in correct state, Vishnu was not mentioned in the Rig Veda. Okay, Bhagavatism was marked by Bhakti and Ahimsa, which is true. Bhagavatism overshadowed Mahayana Buddhism, which is true because of the rise of Bhagavatism. Buddhism and Jainism again have gone into the background. Gupta kings as Samudra Gupta, Chandra Gupta to patronize Vaishnavism, which is also true. So Vishnu was also mentioned in Rig Veda, but Indra, Agni, etc. They were the prominent gods. Two fifty hymns to Indra, all that uh, we have seen in Vedic religion. <laughs> So, which partner states that Surasenis of Madura are Shaivites, Megasthenis who came to the Chandra Gupta Maurya? How many times in the world Shiva is mentioned in Rig Veda? So zero. Shiva was not mentioned. Rudra was mentioned once in a while, but Rudra was not a very prominent god back then. Indra was more prominent. Indra, Agni, etc. So Chandra Gupta Upanishad we have seen Krishna. 
ಸ್ವೇತೇಶ್ವತಾರ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ಎರ್ಲಿ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಶಿವ ಇಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಚಂದೋಗ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸ್ವೇತೇಶ್ವತಾರ ಈ ಶಿವ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಪಬ್ಲಿಕನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮೌರ್ಯ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನೈಸ್ ಶೈವಿಸಮ್ ಯೌದೇಹಾಸ್ ಕುನಿಂದಾಸ್ ಅಡುಂಬರ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನೈಸ್ ಶೈವಿಸಮ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಗುಪ್ತಾಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಸಮ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಓಕೆ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಗುಪ್ತ ಅವರು ಸಂದ್ ಗುಪ್ತ ಇಟ್ ಟುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಗುಪ್ತ ಹಿ ಟುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ದ ನಲಾಂದ ಸೊ ಪ್ರವರ್ ಸೇನಾ ಟು ದ ವಕಟಕ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಹೂ ರೋಡ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಶೇತು ಬಂದ ಓಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ರುದ್ರಸೇನ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ರುದ್ರಸೇನ ವೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಹಿ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಾಟರ್ ಪ್ರಭಾವತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ವಕಟಕ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ the vata vakata class are generally are brahmans okay and uh, they uh, chandragupta and all two they were vaishyas mostly who was the founder of vakataka dynasty vindya shakti vakataka is the dynasty in the deccan so rudrasena was the vakataka ruler <laughs> so rudrasena married chandragupta two's daughter but later he was defeated by samudragupta ಸಮುದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಸೊ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮುದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಬಟ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಹಿ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಡ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಟೂ ಡಾಟರ್ ಪ್ರಭಾವತಿ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ಸಮುದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಕೇಮ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಮುದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಗುಪ್ತ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರುದ್ರ ಸೇನ ಒಕಟಕ ರೂಲರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಒಕಟಕ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಒಕಟ ಕಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸಾತ್ವಾನ್ ಇಸ್ಯೂಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಟರ್ನೈಸ್ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ದನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಮೋಟೆಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ಗುಪ್ತ ಸಾರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಇನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಒಕಟ ಕಾಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೈನ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಳಿದಾಸ ರೋಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗದೂತ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರವರ್ ಸೇನಾ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ Vakataka ruler, except for uh, all these are not very important, they issued Prakrit language, no. The royal emblem used by Guptas was Garuda, try to remember that. Because they were Vaishnavites, they used Garuda also. Okay, fine. So we have covered all the questions in Gupta Empire. Fine. Try to repeat all these questions and uh, you will be able to answer any question in Guptas. Fine, let us stop for today.